Animal Crossing New Horizons is the game that the world needed in this time of self-isolation and quarantine. When you can't go outside and do activities in the real world, Animal Crossing came to save the day for you to go outside and do activities on an island. I honestly find it so crazy how I have spent more time each day playing this game than Doom Eternal. My hype for Doom Eternal was so immense that I went as far as to purchase an ultra-wide monitor just for this occasion. I mean, trust me, that first night with the game was spectacular and exhilarating, but when I decided to have Doom Guy take a rest in his Fortress of Doom in order for me to relax and get ready to sleep with some Animal Crossing, the Doom Slayer hasn't really done much since. And while I was excited for Animal Crossing after seeing the trailer's release and more info come out about the game, I didn't expect to enjoy it as thoroughly as I have. This is due to the fact that I couldn't necessarily get into New Leaf. I am a super late Animal Crossing bloomer and tried to jump into New Leaf at the end of 2018 and after a week, I gave it up. I just recently last month picked it up again in order to hype myself up for New Horizons, but I still found it to be a game that I just didn't sync with. This is far from the case with New Horizons. The main difference for me and the main reason I play it so much is because I feel like I am actually able to play it for hours on end. I never felt that with New Leaf. I, I do know that I was at the very early stages of my mayorship for the town, but there just wasn't a whole lot for me to grow grasp onto to even feel the need to come back the next day. In New Horizons, I find myself doing all of the new tasks that come out for me to do each day, whether that be checking out the new animals walking around the island, or setting up a bridge, or building the new necessary f furniture for pe more people to move in. I mean, after finishing all that up, I still go out and catch fish, chop wood, make my house and living space look really nice, talk to the neighbors, go donate to my boy Blathers, go to other islands to get more resources to continue to build new things. I mean, the list just goes on. On and on. While I'm doing all this, I'm also earning Nook Miles to go to other islands and redeem them for other essential things in the game. I find myself going out of my way to push some of those milestones just to receive more Nook Miles. I'm also worrying about how much bells I'm making to upgrade my house. There's this constant state of having and wanting to do something and it is just genuinely fun. Another huge addition that really adds to this is the crafting in this game. Such a simple tried and true gameplay mechanic yet it works so well for the game. When I learn a new DIY project that I believe will look great for my house, I immediately go out and get the materials to use it. If I don't have enough, let's say iron ingots, I go redeem Nook Miles to get Nook Miles ticket in order to go to another island. Then I run into the problem of not having enough Nook Miles, so guess what? I have to go and look at what I have to do to get more, and now I've been fishing, catching bugs, selling fruit, chopping wood, to finally go and get the ticket to complete my project. Saying this makes it sound like it could be quite tedious and frustrating to have to go through all those steps, but I've never felt anything but fun while doing it. I feel like I do everything for a reason, and yet I get to choose when or what I want to do at any time I want. Based on what I hear from a lot of other people, Animal Crossing games are usually categorized as a good Animal Crossing game or a bad Animal Crossing game. For my time so far playing this game, I can say this is just a good, no 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 no, great video game in general. This game could not have come at a better time. We were able to be free and do what we want on this island that we're creating the look and feel for when we're all stuck at home for who knows how long.